Okay, so let me clear some things up. Um, Kevin Bizier is a mandatory. That's who Kell Brook is fighting in March. Amir Khan is supposed to return in March against a fighter unknown. Now, we can pretty much say that, well, he's not going to fight Keith Thurman or Sean Porter because them two themselves are fighting in March. Who is he going to fight? I don't know. The 147-pound division is not as deep as it once was. Will he fight an Errol Spence? <laughs> nope. Will he fight a um, Ruslan Provotnikov? He had a chance to fight Provotnikov in, um, in November. Turned down that fight. For what reason? Because he thought in his head that he would get a Manny Pacquiao fight. Now, I knew deep down that Manny Pacquiao and Amir Khan couldn't happen because of Amir Khan is advised by Al Heyman. Also, Amir Khan fights on Showtime PBC and Manny Pacquiao fights on HBO. It just couldn't happen. So when he was talking about, you know, he had a contract. Remember, he pulled the same dumb shit with Floyd, too. He said that he had a Mayweather contract and never did. He said he had to send Pacquiao a contract or whatever the case may be. And he expected for the fight to happen. And look, Pacquiao's fighting Timothy Bradley for a third fight. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I got to admit, I'm pretty much done being a supporter of Amir Khan. It's not like I was a super fan of his anyway. It's just that everything he just says is just bullshit. And plus with his career, it's like he doesn't really care about the fans or what we think. You know, because why not fight Kell Brook in the UK where you can make more money? Now, Kell Brook wants to fight him in June. I don't know how... Amir Khan and, and Kell Brook will both fight in different fights in March and then fight again a couple of months later in June. I don't know how they would, you know, I don't know. I don't I don't believe those are the type of fighters that will fight in that early of a time span. You know, but Kell Brook is saying he would do it. So and I'm thinking if he's saying he would do it, then Kell, then 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 right now, Eddie Hearn is pretty much been preparing for Kell Brook to fight in March. And in June, I'm thinking in late June, whatever the case may be, and if he was to fight Amir Khan, it would be in Wembley. So the question I have to fans is, to Amir Khan supporters, is who would Amir Khan make more money against? After all, he talks as if he's just this big draw, this big superstar. Who would he make more money fighting? The winner of Danny Garcia versus Robert Guerrero in the States? Because you damn sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in the States. Robert Guerrero in the States? Or Kell Brook in the UK. You know, it, it seems it seems to be common sense. But yet, Amir Khan wants to be greedy. He wants to sweeten the pot. He's saying 80-20? Amir Khan, it's, it's a joke. He's asking for an 80% split. Floyd Mayweather couldn't get 80% against Pacquiao. He's asking for 80-20. That's, that's a common ducking move in the sport of boxing these days, pricing yourself out. Like when Marquez priced himself out for the Pacquiao 5 rematch, give me $22 million, I'll fight him again. He damn well knew he wasn't getting that money. Billy Joe Saunders, give me $4 million and I'll jump on the plane right now. Where, where's that money going to come from when, when Golovkin's pay-per-view buys are $150,000? Where's that going to come from? You know, so when Amir Khan's saying 80-20, it just, say, it just says he just doesn't want to fight Kell Brook. He doesn't want to fight him. There's no way around it. And the question I'm having is, well, do you really have confidence that he's going to fight Danny Garcia or Robert Guerrero? Maybe he will fight Danny Garcia because he was winning against Danny Garcia until he got knocked out. But Danny Garcia is much of is is, is so much of a better boxer than he was than he was then. I'm thinking, can Amir Khan hold up against that? Amir Khan didn't look good against Chris Algieri. You know, Amir Khan has fought Devin Alexander, Luis Colazzo, Chris Algieri in his last three fights. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not, I'm not saying that Kell Brook hasn't been taking the easy route, too, because when it comes to the IBF, you can't really blame him because Jojo Dan and Ke Kevin Bizier were, were mandatories. Were mandatories. So when it came to Frankie Gavin, that was the only free fight he had. And I admit he should have fought somebody like a bigger name than Frankie Gavin. I personally wanted to see him against Diego Chavez. I don't think he wanted any parts of Diego Chavez. I'm hearing that maybe he was having some trouble with weight, whatever the case may be. But I'm asking the question of where does America 80-20? 80-20? 80-20? He's asking for 80-20. 
And the question is, who is he going to fight in March? What are those ratings going to look like? How much are you going to make for that fight? Um, T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. He is in LA, so there's a good chance he's going to be at uh, Garcia versus Guerrero. That's a sign right there that, well, of course he's going to say he's going to fight the winner. He's a guy that always says, oh, I would love to fight this guy. Oh, I would love to fight this guy. T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I, I would have spit my coffee out too if I was Eddie Hearn. I would have, I would have pissed my pants. If, his, if he, like, if I was to promote it and I hear him say 80 20, listen. Listen, 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 listen. Please subscribe.